If you consider yourself a nature lover, chances are you feel that way because of experiences you had in nature yourself, especially as a kid. So what happens if fewer people have those kinds of experiences? What does that mean for conservation? I'm Dan Riskin. Many have argued that with the global trend toward more people living in cities, people around the world are losing their connection to nature. But is that true? Scientists from France and Germany scoured the literature for any papers measuring what they called experience of nature and how that changes over time. Now they found about 1500 studies of the experience of nature, but only 18 of those looked at how that metric changed over time. For example, some studies measured how often people went to national parks. Others measured the presence of nature in books in movies. Overall, these 18 papers gave a snapshot, and yes, it showed that the experience of nature is going down over time. But those studies weren't really global in reach. They were mostly focused on Europe, North America, and Japan. So to get the global picture, researchers collected some data of their own. The average distance between where people live and their nearest natural area. And they found a robust trend. Around the world, thanks to urbanization, people are living farther from nature than they used to. On average, people live about 10 kilometers from a natural area. That's 7% farther away than in the year 2000. They also found that since the year 2000, tree cover in cities has also declined, especially in Africa and Asia. The fear is that as people experience nature less often, they'll spend less energy trying to protect it. They call this the extinction of experience. The solution may be not just to protect the areas, but to make sure people have a way to enjoy them as well. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.